You know, one of my favorite parts about being from the tri-state area is that it's so damn small that everything's not more than a hop, skip, or a jump away. It, it was really jarring when I lived in California and had, um, and, and, and just like, you know, just drove for a couple hours straight because if you drive for a couple hours straight in, your, in New Jersey, you're no longer in New Jersey. And so Long Island is a place that is relatively close and has a whole, like the energy, like because the people tend to spread like the way that they do, um, I have absolutely no doubt that there are many people who originally have spent time in New Jersey out on Long Island, all right? I mean, hell, that was where Red Man's um, MTV Cribs was. It was out in Long Island because, you know, you just spread, go a little bit further out, particularly with how expensive it continues to get here in, in Jersey without question. So there is a, I guess, a news corp that's News 12. And there's News 12 New Jersey, News 12 Long Island. It's all under one big branch, um, one big family. And the folks of Long Island let a certain reporter named Kevin Vesey of News 12 Long Island to know exactly how they felt. So yeah, uh, these folks are our spirit animal as we go through this. Let's go. I'm just trying to get by on the sidewalk, that's all. No, you shouldn't be here, you're fake news. You stopped, you stopped airing the Trump briefings and you keep airing Cuomo briefings. Go home, Traitor. you fake news. Fake Go home. News. You're destroying something in Long Island. You are the enemy of the people. You are fake news. You are the you enemy. Know it. You are now, the guy who uh, posted this really was like, oh my goodness, how dare they attack the media? But yeah, that's what you jerks have been doing. How many videos have I done about CBS? Like the, the bigger dogs, CBS, ABC, faking, um, faking footage and um, putting out misleading, um, misleading uh, headlines and titles and really taking the Trump derangement syndrome to unprecedented. I mean, the entire thing's unprecedented, but to heights never before seen. And these folks are tired of it, as are the rest of us. We just want truth. We just want honesty. They're doing fundraisers for the Asbury Park Press. And they're like, oh, we tell your stories. The problem is you tell a jacked up version of those stories and none of those stories ever really tend to be the truth. They always come from an angle or from a slant, never just straight up. Now, it, 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 okay, almost never straight up. And so instead of the stories, we want the truth. And you have absolutely no intention of giving it to us. So like I said, spirit animals. Come on, Karen, let's go. Thank you. We know about your liberal agenda. We know you want to keep your job. We get it. You're not getting advertising dollars in right now. Oh, you want you're not going to answer. So you're just going to go live. Great, great yes, you're gonna, I am getting a paycheck. I'm very happy. So, but other people stop. are you not getting paychecks. Here. And damn it, if they don't understand that at all, they don't get it. They, they, they well, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm still getting paid. Because in, in our heart, I, I think human nature is narcissistic to a certain extent. You know, we do worry about ourselves, but some people far more than others. Some people are are, are happy to just drive the, the would be happy to drive the Earth iceberg into the Titanic if they knew they had a spot on one of the survivor seats, one of the survivor boats. And they're That's not going to It used to be a good channel at one time. You allow I don't know. They all were. This is the guy I really, really like. He's like, yeah, you used to be a good channel. All of them were. Time, um, Newsweek, the ACLU, the Southern Poverty Law Center, all of the, 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 the Pulitzer people, the Nobel people, they all were, they, they all initially served a good purpose and seemingly have been Hollywood and seemingly have been like, you know, just infiltrated with, uh, you know, people with agendas and uh, ideas of where they want to take things that are completely antithetical to um, American life, American culture, the way this country, which has stood for over 200 years, um, the way we get down. What happened to you? Now his spin is that, oh my goodness, all these mean, terrible Trump supporters, all these awful people who just want the, the who, who don't care about, who have absolutely no morals and the like. I mean, that's where 
the um opposite the opposition to uh the those who are trump fans uh that's where they come from they they're just like oh well these people they're just mean and evil and they have no morals and they're just bad people they are the deplorables and you know what screw it and, and the energy from the from the quote-unquote deplorables is that you know what i am whatever you say i am and if i wasn't then why would i say i am to quote the great poet the great lariat eminem That's right, Karen. You tell them. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to call them all Karen. But when you got Karen on your side, and Karen, when you got to focus Karen on your side, you could do amazing things. There we go. Fuck you. Yeah, I like this guy. Seriously, man. He probably has a great conversation about the Jets. Like, <laughs> Like, I can guarantee you, if, if you sit him down and have a conversation about the Jets, man, you could talk to this guy for, for days. Or, or Giants. I'm not sure which, which one he likes. They're on Long Island, though. Hey, you're within six feet. feet. <laughs> yeah. Put me on TV, too. My name is Rich. I want you like you. Hey, Kevin. Tell the truth, Kevin. Come on. Rich, you just have the I see absolutely nothing wrong with that statement. It's very truthful. I mean, there's a level of honesty there, right? Fake news is not essential. We don't—it's stuff that we don't need to know. <laughs> like, seriously, there's this um, this article earlier where it's like, oh my goodness, um, it's the first black valedictorian. And and my question, whenever I'm running across this stuff, I'm just asking, okay, how does this help anyone with anything? And I I'm not getting a lot of good answers on that one, guys. News is not essential. Coronavirus is not going away, but our incomes have. Yeah. Hey, respect. That's why the protests are out there. And to not be able to understand that really um, illustrates a lack of empathy for your countrymen, because that's what we're supposed to be. So God bless to all these great patriots out there. With that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like this, also like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. And when you get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube, and bitch, you don't like hearted biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? I mean, it's, 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 your, it's your right to protest, all right? Like, that, like, our rights are enshrined in the Constitution. And it is a damn shame that all of these governors have decided, particularly you, Phil Murphy, have decided that, oh, yeah, that's just, that just goes out of the window. Oh, yeah, we're not going to pay attention. We're not going to really care that much about the Bill of Rights when it comes to enacting such draconian and tyrannical law, uh, not laws, because they're not laws, orders. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next one.